So leaky gut is sort of a buzzword these days, and it's usually always accompanied with some type of digestive issue, right? It can cause other issues, but a lot of times it's put together with digestive, some type of digestive issue. So whether it be bloating or constipation or diarrhea, it's really very common these days, <clears throat> and we're starting to hear more about it for good reason. So one thing that we don't hear a lot about when we talk about digestion is your metabolism. But did you know that most digestive issues are actually a huge red flag pointing to a sluggish metabolism? Because I want to take it back to the very basics of what metabolism is. It's really just energy. It's energy that our body has or doesn't have to give, you know, for our cells to perform the tasks that they want to perform. So a sluggish metabolism means that our body doesn't have the energy that it needs to perform certain tasks at a cellular level. And so digestion takes a lot of energy from our body, right? And so if we don't have if that energy is not there, her digestion is not going to be as it was meant to be. And so because of that reason, a lot of um, the issues that we hear more about, like candida overgrowth, um, SIBO, which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, different things like this, is actually perpetuated because we have this sluggish metabolism and that digestive process is not functioning properly. And so typically, what does this lead to, right? Those issues lead to a restrictive diet because we think if we remove a certain food that it's going to help that candida overgrowth, like, you know, there's so many different diets for that. Or if we restrict a certain food, it's going to help with our SIBO issue. But restricting a food doesn't actually fix our ability to digest it. Should I say that again? <laughs> restricting a food doesn't fix the problem. Um, so most women also are in a stressful state, so their body is requiring more energy. But yet, whenever they go into this restrictive diet sort of spiral, I might you might would say, um, they don't realize that they're not eating enough calories. They're not eating frequently enough. Sometimes they're even removing a, a whole food group like carbs or fats. Um, they're eating way too many of the wrong foods that are really digestive friendly in the first place. And they just kind of get in this whole cycle. And it's it's something that it's it's just like you're chasing your tail. You're not really getting to the upstream issue that is causing all of these downstream things to happen. And so usually what happens is we restrict the foods, we're not eating enough calories, et cetera. And then we think we're going to fix that by putting um, you know, by, by taking a gut protocol. And the thing is, though, not that those things, not that these things are inherently bad, but it's not really fixing the actual upstream issue of the fact that our sluggish metabolism is causing our cells not to work properly, which is causing our digestion to slow down, which is causing all of these overgrowth of bacteria. It's just a cycle that I see so many women stay in. And I want to help you get out of that cycle. And so here's what I want you to take away from this. Your digestive system requires energy and nutrients to function properly. It doesn't necessarily require more and more and more supplements or another protocol, gut protocol. I'm not saying those are not needed, but this needs to be addressed first. And so as I mentioned, digestion is a very in energy intensive process process or job that requires cellular function, right? And those cells need nutrients. And so there's a lot of other things that go into this. Um, hormone balance, thyroid production, that really puts energy into those cells. And if all of that is not fueled properly, the whole system is not going to work properly, which is what we see in impaired digestion. And so whenever we are under this excess stress that I mentioned most women are under, it pulls blood flow away from the digestive organs because it's, you know, you're, if you're so supposedly running, you know, away from a bear, your body doesn't need to digest anything at that point. But so often we're not, right? We're behind our, you know, our, our computer screens or we're on our phones, right? And that those things makes us make us stressed. And so this whole cycle... Um, is really making our digestion so much worse in all of these different ways. And so <clears throat> I want to give you some 
some way a way forward, right? If you find yourself in in what I'm, you know, giving you the scenario of here, if you're like, yes, that's me, I want you to just think about ways that you could support your metabolism and help your digestion get better at a fundamental level. Make sure that you are focusing on getting enough minerals in. This is what I see so many people overlook um, in, in a lot of different spaces. And so most people are deficient in potassium and magnesium a lot of times. So if you eat real food, you're going to get in that potassium and so many of the other um, macro minerals. But magnesium might be one that you want to think about getting a supplement version of in because we don't get much from our food. I love magnesium bicarbonate. I'll actually tag um, in the description of this video. I'll um, link a previous video that I did on that so you can check up on that if you want more information. Another thing that we can do is make sure that we are supporting our adrenals and thyroid by eating a protein carbon fat every three to four hours, making sure that we're giving our body the right nutrients and energy for our cells to function properly. Um, focusing on the right type of fats is important because if you are still consuming highly processed oils, that is perpetuating this issue so much. So things like coconut oil and butter and ghee and dairy fat is really going to be very supportive to your metabolism. So that will help your cells to function properly over time, right? These things take time to rebuild and regenerate our metabolism. So focusing on the right types of fat and being consistent with that is very key. <clears throat> One more tip that I'll give you is eating a raw carrot every day will really help with your digestion. It'll also really help with your hormones as well. And so I'm going to link a video in the description um, that I made on that so you can check that out about how you make it and why it's great. All of the things are in that video and blog post. So I hope this gives you a little bit more insight so that you don't continually feel like you're on this hamster wheel and you're just constantly trying to make some forward movement, but you just can't get there. This is foundational. We have to be fueling our body properly. And so this really plays in to a lot of things, but digestion is a huge one that is often overlooked as it's really a metabolism issue. So I hope this was helpful. I have a new video every single Monday. So if you like this content, make sure to come back and check out my um, future videos. And also you can always check out my previous videos. I've made lots of different um, <clears throat> different uh, playlists that you can play. If you want to dive into um, digestion, for instance, I have something on that a playlist for you. If you, like, if you have a lot of stress in your life, go check out my stress playlist and look at the certain little videos I have tagged there and it'll help you on your journey. So I'm so glad that you're here. I will see you on the next video.